There were some cheers, there were a lot of boos, but maybe more than anything, the Sabres showed up in a big way. So there's Eichel, before the game, he gets the video. A lot of boos, a lot of cheers. What would you expect, anything else? But a couple minutes after that video, one of the guys in the Eichel trade, he shows up big time. Peyton Krebs, he scores the first goal of the night for the Sabres, his fourth of the year. Had to feel extra good against his former team. This one tied in the final minutes. Victor Olofsson, a gorgeous goal, an absolute snipe. He gives the Sabres the lead again, that makes it 2-1. And then, poetic justice for the Sabres. Jack Eichel at the point, Alex Tuck takes it from him, goes the other way, scores the empty net goal. Unbelievable game, unbelievable atmosphere. The Sabres spoil Eichel's return, they win 3-1, and you will not believe what Eichel had to say after the game. Good thing that it's over and you got through that game. Yeah, I'm pretty happy it's over, just move on. Were you surprised at the level of uh, intensity of the crowd? The That's about the loudest I've heard this place ever. <laughs> really, after after uh, it only took seven years of me leaving for them to uh, get into the game. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there was mixed. Uh, you know, it was a nice tribute, and uh, you know, um, there was plenty of people here that were supporting me, and there was plenty of people here that were booing me. So uh, they must just be booing me because they wish I was still here. I don't know. Um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not the first kid to deal with it, so. Just move on, and uh, yeah, it was a tough game. You know, give them credit; they played hard. Come on, it's unbelievable! I can't believe he said that. That man was the captain of this team less than a year ago. My jaw hit the floor when I heard what Eichel said. I'm not going to tell you how you should feel about those comments, but I can tell you that the other guy in the trade, Alex Tuck, you would never talk like that. He's probably going to be the next captain of the Sabers. And as you'd imagine, after the game, he had a very different tone. Obviously, I played four years in Vegas, and uh, we had a really good crowd there. Uh, really energetic, a lot of uh, a lot of noise. Um, it was a lot of fun to play in front of them, but they also gave us a lot of energy and momentum. And to see that tonight from the uh, Sabres fans was a phenomenal experience. And I, I think uh, guys are getting really excited to hopefully look more and more fans see how we're tr really trying to turn this thing around and really putting in the work. And obviously the wins aren't always coming right now. We're still a young and developing team, but down the road, I think we'll be packing this barn and having a lot of fun playing in front of all those fans. And this, any other night, would be a massive story, but Craig Anderson, he picks up his 300th win of his NHL career. He is only the 39th goalie to accomplish such a feat. He gets a nice video after the game. Everybody gives him a standing ovation. So really cool achievement for him. I'm still just kind of floored by the comments. So we posted them on social media. They've already got about 125,000 views. Everybody has something to say. The atmosphere tonight was unbelievable, but Jack what? Eichel digging his heels into the hole Maybe he wants to be an enemy. You know, so Sabres, we're knocking Sabres, things over. Sabres fans needed that. And, and what I will say is it's not like we've known Mr. Eichel to, to have the classiest things to say in his time here anyway. Well, so. what, it's just I, I'm, I'm surprised he took that route. Probably thought he was going to win tonight. He didn't. Soak it in, Sabres fans. You can enjoy this one for sure.